So Alison, why are you here today? What's the main reason for you being in the session? Well, there's a number of questions that I have to, I'm grappling with at the moment. Um, some related to work, some related to my husband's work, some related to um, a number of choices that I need to move forward on, mm -hmm. uh, decisions that I need to take, which potentially have quite long-reaching consequences. And I guess there's a fair amount of anxiety in me in yeah. uh, knowing which way to go, um, how best to tackle, which one to tackle first. Um, at the moment I'm, I'm not sleeping at night, I'm, I'm sleeping but then I'm waking and I'm thinking and trying to work out you know, what, what, what the best route forward is. Yeah. Um, at the moment I've got a headache. Where would you ideally rather be with everything? I'd love to be in a position where I had a much better balance in terms of finding time um, without feeling like I'm stealing time from something else, mm. to do a variety of different things. One is spend more quality time with my family, the other is explore or do some of the stuff that's important to me, mm -hmm. a lot of artistic stuff that I love doing and really don't get to, um, and do so in an environment where I'm financially independent. What's, I mean, some of the negative thoughts, feelings, beliefs, behaviours that are going on for you at the moment? That well, one of the one of the things that we've done is we've bought a house. We've fixed our mortgage for five years, and that's fine. We can afford to service our mortgage. We've got a little bit of uh, advance payment in our mortgage, but I'm very aware that in four years' time, the fixed aspect of that potentially falls away. Mm -hmm. One doesn't know what is or isn't going to happen with interest rates in mm. four years' time. Um, hopefully that have come down, in which case one can you know, approach things and perhaps fix at a lower rate. But I'm very aware that in four years' time, unless I change our current circumstances, we change our current circumstances, we might be in a position where we might not be able to mm -hmm. afford to keep our mm -hmm. house. And that's very scary for me. Yeah. So fear of the future? Fear of the, fear of the future. And I guess that um, I have a, a fundamental fear of... Um, of not making ends meet. Okay, so the fear and uncertainty is about the future possibly bringing what you've already been through in the past. Without a doubt bringing in what we've been yeah. through in the past. So uh, we go, I'm going to teach you a tool very quickly and then you're going to, we're going to work through it mm -hmm. using a tool called Emotional Freedom Techniques or EFT that's basically going to allow you to remove the stress around the situation. Okay, because if you have this stress then you're going to attract more of this in your external environment to reinforce the stress, which then becomes a self-perpetuating cycle. And it's not what you want, is it? No. Okay, so if we can clear or remove fear, then you will not start to attract or continue to attract more things creating more fear. Alrighty? So, what we do is, it's, um, it's like acupuncture, but it's without needles, and we tap on meridian points, which I'm going to show you which they are, what they are in a sec, and we repeat certain statements as we go. Okay, so before we start, I just want to ask you, on a scale of 0 to 10, if 10 was the worst you could possibly feel about this fear of having no money and going back to a situation like you were in the past, what would you be? Probably a 9 or a 10. Fantastic, so you're right up there. Mm. Okay, because the word terrified is pretty, mm. pretty uh, dramatic, isn't mm. it? So it indicates quite high. Okay, so what we do is we go, and we can do this with either hand, right hand or left hand. We turn our hand into a karate chop, and we hit our leg, and the point that hits our leg, it's called the karate chop point. Alright, real rocket science that one. So what we do is we start tapping that with our other hand. And we're, gonna re we're going to repeat what's called the setup statement. And I'm going to, I will say a statement, and you tell me if this is on the money. Even though... So you'll repeat after me. Even though I'm terrified, I'm terrified that we're going to run out of money. That we're going to run out of money. I deeply and completely. I deeply and completely love and accept myself anyway. Love and accept myself anyway. Okay. So what we're saying is, even though I've got that fear, I still deeply and completely love and accept who I am. And it also says that I'm not the fear. So it allows us to separate from it. Okay. Does that statement sound okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we do that three times. Even though, even though I'm absolutely terrified. I'm absolutely terrified. That we're going to run out of money. That we're going to run out of money. And I'm going to return to the state that we did. And I'm going to return to the state that we did. 
that we were, when we came over here five years ago. When we came over here five years ago. But I deeply and completely. But I deeply and completely. Love and accept myself anyway. Love and accept myself anyway. Even though, even though I'm absolutely terrified. Even though I'm absolutely terrified. So much fear. So much fear. That we're gonna run out of money. That we're gonna run out of money. And I'm gonna be stressed out even more. And I'm gonna be stressed out even more. We're gonna to have to work even harder. I'm gonna work even harder. And have less time with my family. Have less time with my family. I deeply and completely love and accept myself anyway. I deeply and completely love and accept myself anyway. Okay, so as we do this, notice memories, past memories, uh, physical symptoms such as a headache. And, and other things, repetitive thoughts that come up. Okay, they might sound random or feel random, but if they come up, just tell me, because they're clues from your subconscious mm -hmm. as to what's going on. Alrighty, so now the first point is the eyebrow point. So we tap this point. Now you can do it with either two hands, left hand or right hand, it doesn't matter. And we say, I'm absolutely terrified. I'm absolutely terrified. That I, that I and, we and we are going to run out of money. Are going to run out of money. Side of the eye. We're going to go back. We're going to go back to how it was five years ago. To how it was five years ago. When we came over from South Africa. When we came over from South Africa. And everything was divisible by five. And everything was divisible by five. Because of the exchange rate. Because of the exchange rate. Under the eye. And things weren't good back then. And things weren't good back then. They were terrifying. They were terrifying. We didn't know where we stood. We didn't know where we stood. Everything was brand new. Everything was brand new. Under the nose. And we were in a lot of fear. And we were in a lot of fear. And so I don't want to go back there. So I don't want to go back there. Hence why I'm fearing it happening again. Hence why I'm fearing it happening again. Chin, I would rather. I would rather have a life. Have a life. Full. Full. Of security. Of security. Of confidence. Confidence. Of work-life balance. Of work-life balance. And it happens easily and effortlessly. And it happens easily and effortlessly. That's my ideal. That's my ideal. Collarbone. So we go to the throat point, mm -hmm. and we go. About diagonal, two inches. On the clavicle. Yeah, just below the clavicle. But, but I, fear I fear this is not going to happen. This is not going to happen. We're going to go back to how it was in the past. We're going to go back to how it was in the past. Where I was completely stressed out. Where I was completely stressed out. Didn't know where the money was coming from. Didn't know where the money was coming from. Didn't know where we were going to live. Didn't know where we were going to live. Everything was brand new. Everything was brand new. All these new possibilities. All these new possibilities. I didn't know how to handle it. Didn't know how to handle it. But I did. But I did. I got through it. But I'm fearing we're going to go back there. But I'm fearing we're going to go back there. And I've always feared that ever since that happened. And I've always feared that ever since that happened. Under the arm. So we go out from the nipple, straight down from the rib cage, and tap here. I'm fearing this is going to happen again. I'm fearing this is going to happen again. So much fear. So much fear. So much terror. So much terror. That it's all going to happen again. That it's all going to happen again. It was so painful at the time. It was so painful at the time. So scary. So scary. So much unknown. So much unknown. I don't want to go back there. I don't want to go back there. Top of the head. But if I keep thinking about this, but if I keep thinking about and this, keep fearing it, and keep fearing it, then it's actually going to show up. Then it's going to show up. So it's the last thing I want to be fearing. So that's the last thing I want to be fearing. I don't want to be fearing. I don't want to be fearing. I want to be at peace. I want to be at peace. So that's why I'm here today. So that's why I'm here today. So I can get back to a state of inner peace. So that I can get back to a state of inner peace. Okay, deep breath out. Shake it out. Okay. Did you notice anything? whilst we did that round. Other than it looks weird, sounds stupid, but it has a very profound effect. I did find that my headache went away. Mm -hmm. It's gone? Mm -hmm. Completely gone. Okay, very good. So it's working. It's working. So we're, what we're doing is we're unblocking the, um, the stress that's been stored in the meridians, which was obviously causing a physical symptom called a headache, mm -hmm. and now that's released. 